Boom. Hey guys, it's Jessica here. And today is going to be my other first time in the Philippines. And excuse my voice, I have a little cold. It's not COVID. But anyway, today for the first time, I am going to be a K-pop dance contest judge. This is Jessica! I am myself am i capable of being a dance contest judge and honestly i don't think i can say a firm yes but i think that i could try because with all my experiences in the k-pop industry and also my experience of just like watching and judging all the k-pop idols out there as someone who also went through the same process of evaluation in her life you know it really hurts so this is an event hosted by KCC Philippines and the Seoul newspaper. So there are 13 teams who are going to be competing and there are three judges who are going to be judging. One of them is me. And the final winning group, the one and only winning group is going to go fly to Korea to compete in the final round. So yeah, it's a quite big K-pop dance competition so I'm really excited to see all the performances. So yeah, now let's head to Robinson's Galleria. <laughs> contestants right over here so we're gonna get to meet each team first backstage interview with Jessica Lee what's your group name and then your song that you're performing today and why did you choose that song we're uh, Vanheim we are covering Itzy Mafia in the morning we wanted a hard-hitting song actually that would showcase how powerful we can be when we dance Vanheim we are Adora and we are performing as New Jeans with the song Oh My God. It's because we love New Jeans. <laughs> yeah, so we're all bunnies here. Yeah, and wow. I also know you're a bunny. Ah, you're yeah, all, yeah, the covers, yeah, I've seen yeah, it all. Four different songs. Yeah. yeah. So we think this is a nice, refreshing song for everybody to enjoy in the audience. Okay, wow. Is it your first time joining in a, in a competition? Uh, we've been doing it since 2019, but oh. we stopped because of the pandemic. Thank you and Thank good you. luck. I'll see you later. We're Ilea and we're gonna perform Unforgiven by Lesser. This song is so powerful and we thought that we can execute their moves well. Good luck! Aww. Wow! Hey guys, we are Paradise! We're covering 80s in this competition because we are inspired by their tremendous talent and energy. You guys been doing it as a team for a while? No. Actually, we're the newest K-pop cover group in town. Oh. I'll see you performing 80s later. Our group name is DNA, which means Dauntless and Almighty. And um, we're going to perform uh, Back Down, which is the latest song from P1 Harmony. And do it like this as our ending. We chose P1 Harmony because it is still an underrated group here in the Philippines. And we think that we are one of the first ones to cover this group and uh, it's an honor to cover this group. So you guys are a bit unusual, like you, ha you have uh, different members, right? Yes. So I'm excited to see that. Thank you so much and good luck. Backstage interview with Jessica Lee. Oh, okay, this time I'm gonna ask the costume. Wait, before I forget, how did you guys style your costume? So, yung fans po namin is, um, since wala na po kaming time, in order namin siya, pinili namin, pare pareho. And yung top kami lang po yung bumili nito, um, kanya kanya, so yun. Made it yourself? Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, where did you buy those socks? Like Shopee? You know, Divisoria. Divisoria! <laughs> Okay, so we are Fatal and we are covering Tribe. So we chose Tribe because uh, their dance is really great. Oh, usually, because parang mga common na K-pop groups na lang rin yung cover. So maiba naman. And yung Tribe because hindi sila talaga popular dito sa Philippines. Right. So we cover Tribe po. And I hope you will wait and watch it. Yeah, later. of course. I'll watch it, of course. Okay. I'm so excited to watch it. Thank you, guys. Hello. Wow, Queen Car. Yes. Queen Car. Yeah. 
group is called I Heart and we're going to perform Queen Card plus Dumbly Dumbly and we chose G Idol because we love G Idol and their charisma and the attitude they had on stage. You guys, where did you guys get it? Your costume? DIY. DIY? Yes. Yeah, like, like, yeah, like, yes. Every, just everything yourself. Yeah. Thank <gasps> you. Good luck. Good. Backstage interview with Jessica Lee. Hello, I'm um, Principium. We're covering 80s. We're, yeah. So there are two 80s. Yeah. Principium. Did you guys expect that? Not really. Oh, okay. <laughs> we're actually going to cover Pirate King and Guerrilla. We are Haliu Kalias and we are going to perform twice. Feel special and talk that talk later. And we chose that because it makes us feel special. So you guys like twice? Yeah. yeah. Good luck. Two, three. we will be performing Talk That Talk and Dance the Night Away by TWICE so we chose to cover TWICE because first of all we are ones, we are fans of TWICE and also um, whenever we post cover videos on YouTube our subscribers all, always request for us to do TWICE cover so it's, um, it's a meaningful gesture for us also na we cover uh, an, an idol that we like and also what us, our subscribers Wow, are so there's also two TWICE performers today. Do you guys know that? Yeah. yeah. Are you new? Yeah. Are you new? Oh, you new? How do you feel about that? Um, it's okay because at the end of the day, we're still just doing our passion, which is performing. So regardless if we are covering the same songs or artists, it's a win-win for everyone yeah. since the audience will enjoy it. Yeah, that's right. Wow. Okay. Thank you and good luck. The song that we chose for today's performance is Give and Taken by Enhan. Also, Junk Days. We chose Give and Taken because we feel like we could express our personality on the song since Give and Taken is more like melodramatic kind of vibe uh, compared to, uh, to their other songs, which is more powerful. We could express our personality here on this song. Wow. Yes. Oh, yes. Where did you guys buy your costume? Uh, actually, one of our members made this. Yes, uh, he used to make costumes for our group and wow. for other groups as well. Oh wow, yes. okay, I'll watch you guys later. First of all, we are Senior GPH. Uh, we'll be covering in Hypen. The main reason why we cover or why we chose in Hypen is that they're really uh, connected with us. Their performances, their um, audios, their music videos, the way they dance, it somehow connect with us. Like the way we move, they inspire us also in their stories and such. Also, there's another N hyphen group right today. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Oh, actually, we're happy about it because we have like uh, we have another brothers that will be covering our favorite groups. It's also supporting yeah, that group. Right, right. Yeah. Wow. So this really a big fan event as well, right? Yeah. I'll wait for your performance later.
judge for the first time and I know I'm not good enough but I really enjoyed becoming a judge and also just really I enjoyed all their performances a lot and I'm so happy for the winning group and I really hope I can also uh, follow up on their journey uh, representing the Philippines in Korea. Yeah, I was really impressed by everything like all their effort like I hear from them that they did everything by, by themselves. You know the K-pop they everyone you know there's a stylist how many stylists, how many this, how many that, but they're doing everything themselves, like with the, everything. So I was really impressed. And even with the Korean raps, they're really lip syncing, even the raps. Like I was so impressed. And most importantly, at the end, you know, just like uh, everyone was like shouting for the winning team together, like all the teams. So that vibe of how it's not really like negatively competitive, but it's very positively competitive in a way that. Oh, yeah, there is other people performing in hyphen song, but it's okay. That means more, more good thing for our group. You know, like the fandom culture was so healthy, so I loved it. And the energy 